Hello, today we're going to take a quick look at how you can build very compelling year-over-year -year reporting for ServiceNow data in just a few quick clicks. I'm going to start by creating a real-time report against ServiceNow by going to the File menu, selecting New View. I can select from any of the data sources, whether they're ServiceNow or whether they're MySQL databases or other enterprise applications. I'll start by selecting ServiceNow on the incident table. We'll use this as an example. And I'm going to start by showing this from a chart perspective, and then we'll take a look at this from a pivot perspective as well. We'll call this year over year. Now for this report, I'm going to select a timeline. And for incidents, I'm going to use the opened. And we'll want this down to the level of month. So now the timeline is showing us month, month by month from the beginning to end. But what we want to look at this is year over year. And with Explore Analytics, it's easier than ever. Here in the chart settings, I have the ability to turn year over year on or off. So now we can see this trend of incident, and we have a line for each of the years rather than having a continual timeline from end to end. So for example, I can see here September, you know, in 2015 and 2016, we had around 200. Now more recently, we had 100. So now we have, again, with just a couple quick clicks, year over year timeline. Let's take a look at how easy this is to do with a pivot as well. I'm going to turn the same date, uh, report into a pivot. And now I'm going to, from the left hand, select that date time field to put into the rows or columns. I'll start with the rows. You'll notice that when I drag it into the rows, I have options for different groupings, like year, quarter, month, year, quarter, year, and month. The reason that we have these separate is so that I could, for instance, select both year and quarter and click OK. That means that these two different levels of, of time grouping are actually going to be tracked separately. So if I are actually going to be grouped separately. So if I want, I can drag the quarters into the columns. And now what I have is a year over year quarter, quarter over quarter report. And I can very easily see that if you compare Q1 2013 versus 2014, there was a doubling, and then it greatly increased for the years after that. But let's suppose I actually want to make these differences even more visible. I'm going to drag a field into the values so that I have a second value field, and I'm going to say display this as, for example, a percent difference from the previous year. What that's going to do is that's going to allow me to show this percent difference year over year within the quarter. So Q1 of 2014 was a 180% increase over uh, Q1 2013. So now I'm comparing how each of these different quarters have changed year over year. And lastly, if I want to, I can add a quick coloring rule to say uh, if it's less than zero, make this uh, green because this is reduced. If it's more than zero, we're going to make it red because it increased and click OK. So now I can very easily see how each quarter compared to the, la to the same quarter a year ago and whether that's increased or decreased. And like with all reports, it's real time. So I can drill through to the details on a cell or on a column. So if I want to see all the incidents from Q1 and uh, across the years, I can drill through and it's showing me for Q1 regardless of which year. Thanks for watching this video. As you can see, it's only a few clicks to be able to get a year over year report. Take a look at some of the other videos in our YouTube channel and you'll have some other ideas for some great reports you can build.